Not only has the indie scene given us some of the most innovative games in recent memory, but their developers also seem to want to give us what big publishers no longer seem to find economically viable. A new Outrun, a new Banjo-Kazooie, a new Mega Man X, who knows when they'll officially arrive. But in the meantime, these indies got us covered. Speaking of the latter, Protodroid Delta is a Mega Man X-inspired 3D action platformer, putting a suspiciously familiar cannon-armed humanoid droid in futuristic scenarios against hordes of robots. Can I live up to the lofty expectations? Let's find out in our test made on Xbox Series X. After the most basic and generic explanation that gives us the bare minimum lore as to why this hopeful, futuristic Earth has various villains to beat down, each in their own stage, we already jump into action with a straightforward tutorial giving us the basics. In generally linear, 3D levels full of moving platforms, traps, and enemies spawning in, the player has to jump, air dash, arm cannon shoot, and melee attack to progress. Melee is fairly effective, but a lot of the enemies have very high damaging power when touched or when some of their attacks explode, making the infinitely recharging arm cannon a better option throughout most fights for me. As the game progresses, most enemies start having shields, which have to be taken down via either a charge shot or certain melee hits, forcing players' hands a bit since the former only has limited use throughout a level. Yet, combat isn't really the game's core, 3D platforming is. Most levels have a handful of enemies spawning in at the same time, with combat that hardly ever takes more than 30 seconds, only for a lengthy platforming sequence to follow. These feature rotating traps, moving platforms, disappearing or falling pieces of pavement, and more, with stages becoming rather extreme pretty quick. Unfortunately, the game's controls and hit detection aren't all that great, leading to multiple frustrating deaths. I've had several instances of enemies pushing me through a floor, or the jump or dash buttons failing me at crucial times. Granted, these falls usually only set the player back to the last stable piece of ground, but with the health loss. Get to zero, and it's back to the last checkpoint. Though I did have an annoying instance in one of the later stages where falling into a pit somehow pushed me back two checkpoints to the start of the level. Fortunately, the game is structured in a way that each and every level and checkpoint can be accessed again rather quickly. Before the end game, Protodroid Delta presents five different scenarios, each with its charismatic stage boss to get through in whichever order we decide. Each stage also has optional routes and collectibles, which come in handy for special upgrades that can be unlocked, such as aerial dashes, charged melee attacks, and improved arm cannons. It's all optional, but they certainly make the game more varied and easier on the long run. As I was saying, each stage can be abandoned midway, with the game handily saving each checkpoint, even of the optional dungeons found inside of them, for future access. Each level has increasingly tough platforming sequences and enemy encounters, with then all of them culminating in a tough but generally fair boss fight. Yet, the stages themselves feel like they're going on forever, with multiple teleport devices that seem like signaling the end of a level, and yet only just open up another segment of slightly frustrating platforming and more of the same enemies spawning in. I was really enjoying the opening hour or so, but eventually the game's repetition catches up with it, with the gameplay unfortunately not polished or precise enough to truly allow for all of this to shine. Mega Man X, it ain't. Audio-visually speaking, the game is decent enough. Bright, colorful, slightly cartoony, futuristic scenarios, mixing in high-tech buildings and some green areas with flowers and trees alike. Energetic soundtracks give the action a nice beat, and the few inspired anime cutscenes are pretty good, though it's a shame then that most interactions are done via the classic dialogue boxes and with pretty cheap voice acting. And while performance is pretty stable, the camera of movement do feel somewhat unresponsive, almost as if the frame rate was lower than it really is. Perhaps some patches can help with that. Despite a lot of this sounding like a fairly negative review, Protodroid Delta is a fun game. It manages to capture most of the magic of action platformers of the era, Mega Man X in particular, but also the Sonic Adventure games to an extent, with fun, dynamic combat, and tons of platforming and a bright, colorful look. Unfortunately, while the gameplay has its moments, it's also not quite as precise and polished as such a game would require. And with how prevalent and difficult the platforming sequences become, this is certainly a big issue. Nostalgic gamers, and people dying to play something resembling a new 3D Mega Man, are still bound to have a pretty fun time with Protodroid Delta, and here's hoping that the title can be successful enough to warrant a sequel that fixes some of its shortcomings.